As development continued in the 1960s, the leaders on the town board were busy meeting the needs of a growing township. The population was increasing, as were the demands for city services. They had gotten to the point where they should incorporate the city and not have it as a, a township any longer. We had grown, the population had come in, and so at that point, uh, they thought it should be a city. But before that could happen, the town board felt that residents should make that decision. So on Valentine's Day of 1967, voters approved the transition and Woodbury Township incorporated and became Woodbury Village. Then on April 4, 1967, residents elected a five-member city council and Orville Bielenberg as Woodbury's first mayor. He was a wonderful guy. And there was no doubt in my mind that if Orville was on it and was going to head it up, we were going to have a great Woodbury, and we did. Orville Bielenberg and his family had farmed the land near the intersection of Bailey Road and Radio Drive for more than 100 years. He was raised in Woodbury and loved the town. He also felt very strongly that it was important to serve your community. Uh, my father felt it was an obligation and a privilege to serve the community but he also liked uh, doing it because he could get out and be around people and enjoy being out in the community. He was a person who could uh, go meet with the president of 3M and uh, you know just get along with him great and then he could go out and talk to the farmers of the community about what his visions were, just exactly what Woodbury needed for that era. In addition to building relationships, Orville Bielenberg had a great vision. He had a great feel for where Woodbury is going and with the help of that early city council, laid the groundwork for the future. The vision came from Orville Bielenberg actually in 1967. He realized that people need a place to live and the population was going to grow and that being anti-development was probably not the best interest for where are people going to live. He really is the biggest reason for the way it's growing. Orville served as mayor from 1967 to 1982 and oversaw the transition from a rural farm town to a Twin City suburb. Orville's legacy can still be found all over Woodbury, not only from the streets and amenities that bear his name, but also in the forward-thinking planning that city officials still use today. What he would have thought of Woodbury is that he would have been excited that it's so prosperous. He'd also be happy with the continued way that people take pride in the community and connect. When Orville left Woodbury for good in 1999, he gave the city a gift by pointing the city in the right direction and by providing a map to the future of Woodbury. To this day, I tell people, if it wasn't for Orville, you know, we may not be quite as good as we are. <laughs>